For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. The socio-political crisis in Haiti has been further deepened with the assassination of its president. In the early hours of July 7th, unidentified armed men attacked the house of Haiti's de facto president Jovenel Moïse and shot him dead. Haiti's interim prime minister and now acting president Claude Joseph confirmed the news in the early morning and declared a 15-day state of siege. On the evening of July 7th, the Secretary of State Communication, Franz Exantos, reported that the two suspects in the president's assassination had been arrested by the national police in Pelerin. Hours later, in a press conference, the director of the Haitian National Police, PNH, Leon Charles, confirmed that the police captured two of the presumed assassins and killed four others. Claude Joseph also reported that he held a meeting with the core group, composed of the ambassadors of Brazil, Canada, France, Germany, Spain, the European Union, the United States of America, as well as representatives from the United Nations and the Organization of American States. He also informed that he spoke with the U.S. Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, about the assassination and the political crisis. Haitian civil society organizations and other progressive sectors have expressed concern about these meetings. They warned that Moise's assassination could be used as a pretext to increase foreign interference and will far from alleviate the socio-political crisis in the country. They apprised that the core group has its own economic and geostrategic interests in the country. They also recalled that the core group supported Moise's illegitimate government, whose presidential term constitutionally ended on February 7, 2021. The group also supported his unconstitutional plans to hold legislative and presidential elections in a constitutional referendum on September 26, 2021, despite the widespread popular rejection. Huileo Sur Americas, a network of social movements in Latin America and the Caribbean, condemned Moise's assassination and pointed out that there are factors which indicate about the complicity or participation of the security forces in the assassination. Social movements of ALBA also stress that Moise's murder must not be the excuse for a new intervention in Haiti.